Hello to all my friends out there. Hi, you guys. I hope everyone is doing okay, especially if you live in the area where the tornadoes hit last night. All the way from Illinois to Kentucky. Probably a lot more and a lot worse than we know. So, um, I'm thinking of you guys all the way out here in Southern California. So today I was at Walmart and I bought this orange and bergamot scented candle. Bergamot is an Italian orange and they're green. Uh, they're in your better teas. I have never been fortunate enough to consume some, but I would like to one of these days. Maybe I'll take a trip into the world store. This smells so good. Maybe I'll take a trip into the world store. They might have some. So, um, I've been busy, you guys. Okay, so, I thought, gee, you know, Dollar Tree is a $1.25 tree now. So, I thought, well, maybe I can go to Walmart and let me see if I can find some stuff that is less than a dollar. And then I did. So, uh, the first thing I found was two cans of tuna. I wasn't intending on buying any more food for the stockpile, but I thought, why don't you just buy a $5, a couple dollars worth extra food? Uh, you can never have too much. I bought two Vienna sausages for uh, 48 cents each. So, you know, if you were, if your house wasn't totally, they said it was like matchsticks. If your house wasn't totally destroyed, you could eat these right out of the can. I heard there's no power. So I got those for 48 cents. I bought a can of pork and beans for 50 cents. So right here, this is a lot of food. This could be five meals, kind of. And then I bought this. These are now uh, 24 cents. They used to be 18 cents. So you could have your Vienna sausage in your top ramen or Vienna sausage in your pork and beans. Then what have I? Oh, I bought uh, one can of stewed tomatoes. These come in handy for all kinds of things. Uh, the other night when I made the macaroni and cheese with the hamburger and it, it could have been tomato sauce, but I just ground up my uh, stewed tomatoes and uh, also you can put you can and put those in with my hamburger. You could whip up a little batch of spaghetti and put some Italian seasoning in those too. Then I bought two vegetables and those were uh, 64 cents. So nothing here was a dollar. And then I bought two cans of vegetables, 50 cents each. Those seem to be uh, pretty reasonable still. And then I bought a package of cornbread because this is always nice to have. So this gives you bread. So I bought these eight items at Walmart for a five, what was it? 522. I was trying to go for $5. It went a little bit over. $8 at 125 each is $10. So you can see it would be about half price. Uh, by carefully shopping, there are still places that you can get uh, food for a dollar or cheaper. Okay, no, 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 no. I have um, I have three items that are just nice to stockpile. One is these big cans of chicken noodle soup from Walmart. They're about $1.38. That's a lot of food. The other one is a can of chili. I buy this at Walmart. This is my favorite kind. I usually like to eat this with hot dogs and the soup is good with the sandwich, any kind. And then I like these. So the three items are the chicken noodle soup, the big one, the chili, and these um, beef pastas, or tuna, or last night I had the uh, cheeseburger. And what I like to make with this is onion rings, or, you know, beef rice with onion rings. That's very delicious. 
you just slice your onion rings, you make up your pancake mix according to the directions and you dip your onions in the pancake mix and fry them up. So today I had my pizza mix for, or my pizza, my box of pizza party pizza from Walmart with the pizza, the nuggets and the uh, cookies. That was good. And then two items that are just nice to have. While you can still get this stuff for a dollar, uh, this cocoa powder and the dollar uh, tea. And I want to give you my, uh, the old fashioned fudge recipe here. So, you know, it's easy to make. So you can still get the tea and the cocoa mix at 99 cent only, and the rest of the stuff I got at Walmart. So um, there's also good recipes on here, quick and easy brownies and chocolate cake. So that's, I'll try to put these on my Twitter. Okay, I want to show you something uh, before I start this next part. Okay, I have two, I try to collect perfume bottles and believe this or not, I cannot, I've had these for a while now and I just love them because they're so pretty. I sold one of my little perfumes. I can't believe I did that. I don't know what possessed me to do it. I didn't need the 35 bucks. And at the time, I thought I was like, ha, 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 and somebody's really going to be so happy with this perfume. And then after I did it, I thought, are you a lunatic? But anyway, I sold my perfume, yes. I, I really don't know why I did that. And then I, I try to collect small crowns. Look how cute this is. I bought this. I, I don't know. I like these at Christmas time. I don't know what I'm going to do with this. I keep putting it around. So now I want to talk to you about the trick. You know, you see people and they see their money seems to go so much further. But the truth is they're habitually doing things that save money like me. Okay, so here's some of the stuff I do. And I'm consistent at doing it. You guys have seen me doing it. Living in a car. <laughs> When I get up in the morning, I go to my car and I drive and I try to walk in a shop and you know, I live in my car from the time I get up until dark, then I come home. That saves wear and tear on my house. I'm not using any utilities and it really saves money. I can't tell you how much money I've saved doing that, but I've been doing it all year long. Two, stockpiling food. Actually, this is a lot of food. So let's see, we have $5, $6, $7, $8, $9, $10, $33 here. So continuously stockpiling a little food, one or two items. Okay, stockpiling food. Um, there was... Um, there was uh, this one thing I heard, and there might be some credence to this um, claim that the dollar twenty-five increase was caused by, um, you know, to make up for the shoplifting. I thought that seemed kind of reasonable. Now, where did I write that? You know what I did is I put, uh, I got water on my uh, notebook and everything got all messed up. Okay, so I stockpile continuously. So that's two continuous cheap things I do. Okay, the third one is cheap meals. I make a point to have decent meals. I'm trying to watch my weight. And so... Part of it is the shopping. So I, I try to buy like 10 pounds of meat and the meats are chicken, hamburger, bacon, and sausage, 
The sides would be four pounds, rice, beans, potatoes, or bread. And then the vegetables would be fresh, frozen, or canned. The dairy would be milk, eggs, two pounds of butter, two pounds of cheese. And then there are increments of three things. So your chicken, rice, and beans. A lady told me in McDonald's one day, we were talking, the kids were on around. If you have chicken, rice, and beans, you're not going to starve. So that's why I bought the big uh, bags of rice and beans. And then my method was hamburgers or meat, potatoes, and vegetables. And, you know, you can buy packages of instant potatoes. Then bacon, eggs, and bread. So you can have bacon and eggs. And then sausage, eggs, and milk. So you can make sausage gravy and you have bread. So let me give you... So the cheap meals are easier to achieve if you have a good, you have a good uh, grocery list. And uh, I bought the nice chickens for 99 cents a pound at uh, Dollar Tree. Okay, now, so cheap meals. Then I shop all the time in thrift stores. And I buy a lot of stuff, and some of it I sell, and some of it I keep. So like this blouse, I don't know how many years I've had it, but I bought it very cheap. At one point, I was only buying, I was only paying a dollar, so I might have paid a dollar. I try to find anything that resembles um, a, a silk blouse. This necklace, I bought this recently. I, I like it. It was 75 cents. And, uh, you know, I have, I have some of these, but I don't know where they are. And this is actually a snake bracelet. So what I generally buy in a thrift store is clothes, home decor, and my living room is looking pretty nice with my thrift store home decor and appliances. I bought quite a few appliances. And then the latest thing that I just added was one dollar beauty products i even bought one dollar uh hair color i went to get it and it was a dollar 25 and i said no I'll, if i'm going to use cheap color i'll go to 99 cent and try to get it for 99 cents and then uh one dollars on the food the non-food items like i can still get sos pads windex at walmart and then you know um at the 99 cents only store so what I'm doing now is I'm trying to stock up on items that I know I'm going to need that I can still get for a dollar. I, I am resistant to paying a dollar twenty-five if I possibly can avoid it. So okay, you guys, I hope everyone is being festive, and I'm praying for everybody who was hit by the tornadoes. I I just cannot really imagine a tornado you know, having five minutes of terror before it strikes. So, uh, okay, you guys, uh, the only advice I can give that anything I can think of is immediately go get your social services and get your, um, you know, your welfare and your food stamps and everything you can possibly get now. Don't wait until you're down to your last penny and, um, you know, secure yourself as best you can. Um, somehow it always works out, but until that time comes, it could be pretty miserable. Okay, you guys, please like, comment, and subscribe, and God bless you all.